When we see pictures that remind us of the devastating effects of Hurricane Katrina, it's easy to understand the power of emotional memory. Whether you were directly exposed to the storm or you experienced it through images on TV, powerful emotional memories were formed. Of course, many emotional memories in our lives are anything but negative, and many of life's events result in very powerful positive memories. Psychologist Stefan Hammond is interested in the formation and recall of emotional memory, and his research frequently involves the use of non-invasive brain scans based upon functional magnetic resonance imaging technology, or fMRI. There's no question. Today, Mary Ann, an undergraduate volunteer, will undergo an fMRI to help us learn which brain areas get activated when someone sees and then recalls emotional and non-emotional pictures. Mary Ann will control a box with three buttons. She'll push one after seeing each picture, letting researchers know how she interprets the picture. And remember the headset has a mirror that will allow Mary Ann to see pictures that will flash on this desktop-like screen in the back of the scanner. But before we see how Mary Ann's brain functions during a motion, Hammond needs to learn about the structure of her brain so the scanner can be properly aligned. And everyone's brain is a little bit different, so we can't just go off the basis of a, a standard model. Hi, Mary Ann. How are you doing? Okay, we're going to start the scan that's going to take a very quick picture of your brain to align the scanner, okay? And secondly, that we have optimal coverage of the amygdala and the hippocampus. As seen in this 3D image, the hippocampus, located in each hemisphere, is where memories for facts and events, be they positive, negative, or neutral, are first processed and stored. It connects to the amygdala, which serves to boost the hippocampus's processing and storage capabilities but only for emotional facts and events. As pictures appear, Marianne responds with button presses. The presses register as different color lights in the control room. Because the specific pictures Marianne is seeing are used for research purposes only, we can't show you the exact ones. But an example of a positive picture might be a puppy, a neutral one, a wastebasket, and a negative one, an injury with considerable gory